Welcome to Citizenship Journey USA. As you get ready for your U.S. citizenship interview, it's important to stay up to date, especially with the recent changes to the N-400 form by USCIS. To help you through this process, here are 14 simple tips. Number 1. First Impressions Matter Your interview starts the moment you meet the officer. Be ready to respond in basic English right away. Number 2. Listen carefully. Pay close attention to the officer's instructions. Ask for clarification if needed. Number 3. Prepare for common questions. Familiarize yourself with typical interview questions to stay calm and confident. Number 4. Name consistency. Ensure your name is consistent across all documents. Number 5. Disclose all names. Be ready to mention any other names you've used, including aliases and nicknames. Number 6. Organize your documents. Keep your documents neatly organized for easy access during the interview. Number 7. Name change option. You can change your name during naturalization, but it's optional. Number 8. Verify your SSN. Ensure your social security number is correct especially if your employer uses e-verify. Number 9. Update your address. Make sure your mailing address is current. Number 10. Background check. Review your N-400 form to ensure all information is accurate. Number 11. Employment history. Be prepared to discuss your work, education, and any periods of unemployment. Number 12. Stay confident. Maintain confidence through your posture, eye contact, and clear answers. Number 13. Travel history. Be ready to explain your trips outside the U.S., starting with the most recent. And last, number 14. Don't stress over definitions. Don't worry if you can't define every word on the N-400 form, just focus on understanding the questions. These tips will help you confidently navigate your U.S. citizenship interview. For more help and practice, subscribe to Citizenship Journey USA and watch our latest videos. Your journey to becoming a U.S. citizen starts here. Sophia Valeria. Yes, it's me. Hi, I'm Immigration Officer Benjamin Lucas. I've been assigned to conduct your interview today. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Follow me, please. Sure. Put everything on the chair. Please remain standing. I'm going to swear you in. Please raise your right hand. Do you swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. Sit down, please. Thank you. Have you been waiting a long time to talk to me? No, it's just 20 minutes only. How is the traffic getting here? Traffic was heavy this morning. Did you do anything fun over the weekend? Not really. I was preparing for this interview. 
Don't worry, you'll be fine. How do you feel now? I'm a little bit nervous but also excited about this interview. I hope the interview won't take too long. Show me your green card, your state identification card, or your notice that you received from USCIS and your passport or any re-entry permit. Thank you. Sorry, officer, my passport expired last month. Is that an issue? That's not a problem as long as you're not traveling anywhere soon. Okay, as a part of the naturalization process, there are a couple of things I need to do before the interview. It'll just take a few minutes. I need to take your picture and scan your fingerprints right here. Can you please move one step closer and look at the camera in front of you? Sure. All right. Now, can you please place your right index finger and then switch to your left index finger on the scanner? Everything is perfect. How are you today? I'm good, thanks, and how about you? I'm great. Thank you. Tell me why you are here today. I'm here for my U.S. citizenship interview. Why do you want to become a U.S. citizen? I want a better life for my son, and I really want to vote in the next election. How long have you been waiting for your interview since you filed your application? I have been waiting for around three months. Have you studied for the civics test? Yes, I've studied hard since I applied. Great. What version of the civics test did you study? I studied the 100 official civics questions 2008 version. That's the correct one. Sounds like you're ready for the test. Yes, I am ready for the test. I'm going to conduct the civics test right now. Do you have any questions before we start? No, I don't have any questions. Please say the answers loudly for me. What is one reason colonists came to America? Freedom. Why does the flag have 13 stripes? Because there were 13 original colonies. Who is the Chief Justice of the United States now? John Roberts. Name one U.S. territory. Guam. What is the name of the national anthem? The Star Spangled Banner. Name one right only for United States citizens. Vote in a federal election. Good. You passed the civics test since you got six answers correct. I'll move on to the English reading and writing test now. I'll administer the test on this tablet. Can you see a sentence that appeared on the tablet? Yes, I can see it. Can you read that sentence out loud for me? 
When is Flag Day? Good job. Now, I will read a sentence. Please use a stylus to write the sentence on the tablet. Let me know if you need me to repeat. Flag Day is in June. Great job! Now I will review your application form to make sure everything is correct. You swore an oath at the beginning. Do you know what it means? Yes, it means I would tell the truth. Awesome! What is your current legal name? Sophia Valeria. Is Valeria your last name? Yes. What is your first name? Sophia. How do you spell your last name? V A L E R I A. Have you used any other names since you got your green card? No. I haven't used any other name. Some people change their name when they become U.S. citizen. So, would you like to change your current name? No, officer. Is that the same name as on your green card? Yes, it is. Do you want the Social Security Administration to issue you an original or replacement Social Security card? And update your immigration status with the SSA if and when you are naturalized? Please tell me your phone number. I'm sorry. I changed my phone number two months ago. The new number is 2115739287. Can you please update this for me? Yes, I'm updating it right now. Do you have a different phone number at work? No. Do you have an email address? Yes. What is your email address? Valeria at AOL.com Are you eligible to become a U.S. citizen? Yes, officer. I have been a lawful permanent resident for five years. When did you become a permanent resident? I became a permanent resident on March 7, 2018. How tall are you, and how much do you weigh? I am 5'4 and 117 pounds. What is your birthday? August 15, 1990. I am sorry, I have an error on my N-400 application. Can you please correct my date of birth for me? Sure, hold on please. Can you show me your original birth certificate? Yes, officer, here it is. Thank you. Do you have any individual disabilities that require accommodation? No. When was your last trip outside the United States? May 17, 2023. What was the purpose of that trip? I went on vacation with my family. How many total days did you spend outside the United States in the last five years? 
Totally I spent 150 days outside the United States in the last five years. All right, have you ever received any public benefits since you came to the U.S.? No, I haven't received any public benefits since I came to the U.S. Where were you born? I was born in Mexico. So you are a citizen of Mexico? Yes, I am a citizen of Mexico. Do you have dual citizenship in other countries? No, I am only a citizen of Mexico. You've been a permanent resident for five years, is that right? Yes. You got your green card through your brother, is this correct? Yes, it's correct. Were your parents married before your 18th birthday? Yes, officer. What is your current address? 342 North Avenue 52, Los Angeles, California 90042. Your spouse lives with you at your current address? Yes, we are living together. Is your current mailing address the same as your home address? Yes, it is. How long have you lived at the current address? Three years. When did you move to this address? We moved to this address on October 30th, 2020. Where did you live before? 11825 Red Cedar Drive, Frisco, Texas 75035. Did you also live with your spouse at this address? Yes, officer. I lived at this address also with my spouse. Do your parents live here? No, my parents live in Mexico. Your parents are not U.S. citizens, is that correct? Yes, that is correct. Do you want the Social Security Administration to issue you an original or replacement Social Security card? And update your immigration status with the SSA if and when you are naturalized? Yes, I do. Tell me your social security number, please. 757-87-9876 All right, do you have a job currently? Yes, I do. Who is your current employer? LBA Logistic. What is your position there? I'm a computer systems engineer. How long have you been working for them? I have been working for three years. So, you worked there since you moved to California? Yes, it's correct. Do you know the employer's address? 1130 N. Kramer Boulevard, Anaheim, California 92806. Did you work at Property Shark before that? Yes, that's correct. What did you do there? I was an administrative assistant. How long have you worked there? I worked there about three years. What date did you leave this job? I left this job on August 9, 2017. Have you worked anywhere else in the last five years? 
No, that's it. Are you married? Yes, I am. How many times have you been married? One time. What is your spouse's full name? His name is Francisco Pablo. What is his date of birth? May 23, 1983. Is he a U.S. citizen? Yes, he just became a U.S. citizen last year. Please show me your marriage certificate. Yes, here you go. What is your spouse's current job? He works at Zara USA as an electrical engineer. How long has your spouse worked there? He has been working there for about five years. All right. How many children do you have? I have one child. What is your child's name? His name is Mateo Francisco. How old is your child? He is eight years old. Is your child biological to you? Yes, he is. Can you give me his birth certificate? Sure. Here it is. Do you and your spouse have any adopted children? No, we don't. Did any of your trips last six months or longer? No, officer. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No. Have you ever been involved in any way with forcing someone to have any kind of sexual contact or activity? No. What is forcing? To pressure someone into doing something they don't want to do. Have you ever called yourself a non-U.S. resident on a federal state or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Have you ever received a suspended sentence been placed on probation or been paroled? No. Did you ever sell, give, or provide weapons to any person? No. Do you know what communism is? A political system in which the state controls everything. Have you ever been convicted of a crime or offense? No. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No, officer. Were you ever involved in any way with killing or trying to kill someone? No, never. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent or been confined to a mental institution? No. Have you ever been placed in an alternative sentencing or rehabilitative program? No, never. Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? Yes, I filed taxes return every year since I came to the U.S. 
Have you ever worked for or been a part of any group, unit, or organization that committed genocide? No, never. What is an organization? A group of people that work together. Have you ever left the United States to avoid being drafted in the U.S. Armed Forces? No, never. Do you know what drafted means? To be selected for military service. Have you ever been in jail or prison? No, officer. Did you ever use a weapon against another person? No, never. Do you know the meaning of weapon? Like a knife or gun. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. Have you ever participated in causing harm or suffering to any person because of their race, religion, national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, never. What is public benefit? Welfare, like food stamps, housing, education, health care. Were you ever involved in any way with forcing or trying to force someone to have any kind of sexual contact or relations? No, never. Were you ever involved in not letting someone practice his or her religion? No, officer. Have you ever helped anyone to enter or try to enter the United States illegally? No, never. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No. Have you ever been married to more than one person at the same time? No, never. Were you ever a worker, volunteer, or a soldier in a prison or jail? No, officer. Have you ever persecuted any person because of race, religion? national origin, membership in a particular social group, or political opinion? No, never. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Have you ever been charged with a crime or offense? No, officer. Have you ever been a worker, volunteer, or soldier in a prison camp? No. What is prison or jail? A place where prisoners are kept. Have you ever been ordered removed, excluded, or deported from the United States? No, officer. Have you ever been arrested, cited, or detained by any law enforcement officer for any reason? Yes, I was once cited for speeding. What happened after you were cited? I paid the fine and attended traffic school. Have you ever given any U.S. government official any information? or documentation that was false, fraudulent, or misleading? No, never. 
Have you ever filed a federal, state, or local tax return since you became a lawful permanent resident? No. Did you ever serve in any place where people were forced to stay? No. Have you ever voted in any federal, state, or local election in the United States? No, officer. Why not? Because I am not a U.S. citizen. Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? No. Have you ever been a member of, involved in, or in any way associated with any communist or totalitarian party anywhere in the world? No, never. What is a totalitarian party? Government controls everything and people have no power. Have you ever been a prostitute or procured anyone for prostitution? No, never. Can you explain what prostitute means? Someone who sells sex. Have you ever told someone that you are a U.S. citizen? No. Do you owe any overdue federal, state, or local taxes? No, I don't. Have you ever gambled illegally or received income from illegal gambling? No, never. Have you ever married someone to get immigration benefits? Sorry, officer. Could you clarify your question for me? Did you ever marry so you could get green card? No. Have you ever committed assisted in committing or attempted to commit a crime or offense for which you were not arrested? No. Have you ever made any misrepresentation to obtain any public benefit in the United States? No. What does misrepresentation mean? To lie. Were you ever involved in any way with badly hurting or trying to hurt a person on purpose? No, never. What does to be convicted mean? To be found guilty of a crime under the law. Have you ever lied to any U.S. government officials to gain entry or admission into the United States or to gain immigration benefits while in the United States? No. If the law requires it, are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you support the Constitution and form of government of the United States? Yes, I do. Are you willing to perform work of national importance under civilian direction? Yes, I'm willing to. Do you understand the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Yes, I do. Can you explain to me what that is? I pledge to love my country through both the good times and the challenging times. Are you willing to bear arms on behalf of the United States? Yes, I am. After reviewing your background and your application, I'm glad to say that you deserve to be a U.S. citizen.
Congratulations on passing the U.S. citizenship interview and tests. I'm recommending your application for approval. Thank you, officer. I'm grateful for your assistance. Now please review the updated application on the tablet. Please ensure that all your information is accurate. Afterward, kindly sign the last page. Let me know if you'd like any further adjustments. Okay. Yes, everything appears to be perfect. Thank you for updating my application. Please sign the box on the tablet to confirm that everything you've stated during the interview and all the evidence you've submitted are accurate and complete. One last thing. Please review the Oath of Allegiance section. Okay. Please give me a moment. I need to quickly complete a background check and make copies of your documents. I'll be back shortly. Of course. No problem. Okay. Thank you for waiting. I've completed all your copies. Here are your original documents, and I have your test results with you. Here is a copy of your test result. Thank you, officer. We will send you a notice for the oath ceremony within a month. You still have an important step that needs to be done to become a U.S. citizen. Make sure you attend the oath ceremony as scheduled. Do you have any questions at this point? No, I'm good. I don't have any questions. Thank you again. You are most welcome. Let me walk you back to the waiting area.